Are you considering buying a robot mower like this one you see here? Well, I've got five things you need to know before you get into this. Here we go. So the first thing you need to consider when it comes to using a robot lawnmower is that these aren't built and designed like a traditional lawnmower that you push around the yard. A traditional lawnmower can handle thick heavy grass and adjusting your height of cut. These are designed to maintain a height of cut. So what you need to do as you're setting these up is to get your traditional lawnmower and mow your grass one more time at the height of cut you want the robot to maintain and then simply set this up to mow every day. Second thing to consider is that these things are newer technology, especially these wireless ones that don't require any kind of ground wire around the perimeter of your yard. So it requires a little bit of patience. So keep that in mind. We need patience. There are going to be some connection issues. There will be uh, some troubleshooting ahead, but once you get everything figured out, you're pretty much in a set it and forget it kind of state and you can just let it go to work and do its thing. The third thing to understand is limitations. Figure out and learn where this thing is capable of going, where it's capable of getting stuck or hung up and all the rest. So for me, that was around an in-ground trampoline. It was around my swing set. And another thing to consider too, is if you have kids especially that like to leave all their stuff out in the yard when they come inside at the end of the day, before the mower starts mowing, make sure all their stuff's picked up too. So the area needs to be cleared and then any steps you can take to prevent it from getting stuck or hung up, probably a good idea to make sure you do that before it actually gets stuck or hung up. For me, it was a learning process and this particular uh, robot mower, the Memotion Luba, ha has no-go zones that you can set up areas for it to avoid, like around the swing set or around the in-ground trampoline. So take those steps, make sure you take your time setting it up, be better off. Fourth thing to keep in mind is you still need to trim around the perimeter of your grass. So, uh, and that also counts the no-go zones that you've potentially set up too. So around my fence lines, around all the slides and everything on my swing set, around the perimeter of my in-ground trampoline, I still trim around all those areas about once a week or so. Come out here with the string trimmer, take a few minutes, trim it all up, make it all look nice, good to go. Last thing to mention is maintenance. Although this is fully automated, it will charge itself, it will start all on its own, on its own schedule, the way that you schedule it to go. It will do all the things all automatically, but you still need to make sure that you're keeping sharp blades on it. It has little tiny razor blades underneath that are very easy to replace, and you need to make sure that while you're under there replacing the blades that the underside of the mowing deck is clean and free of debris so very minimal maintenance but you still need to make sure you do it because we still want to make sure that especially if we're mowing every day we're probably going to want to do this about once a month we want to make sure that you're getting as clean of a cut as possible so make sure you stay on top of that maintenance other than that i set this to mow every day and you can see i've got a fresh cut lawn every day it's very nice and I don't have to do any of the work. So those are my five pieces of advice. If you're looking to get into robot lawnmowers, want to get one on your property somewhere, try it out, see how it does. There's five things to consider. I hope that's helpful. If you have any other questions about the Luba robot lawnmower or robot lawn mowing in general, let's talk down in the comments section. Thanks so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. Thanks again for watching, I appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.